Hello Scrappers and Planet Lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to take apart this leaf blower slash leaf vacuum. Found it on Garbage Day the other day. I've already checked. It doesn't work. Um, there are a lot of goodies inside. Um, kind of like the vacuum cleaner. There's some silver contacts. There's a motor. Uh, and rather than this go into the landfill, I'm going to take it apart scrap as much out of it as I can and divert as much away from the landfill as I can. So here we go. Uh, first thing, it came with a lithium battery. Uh, I've already checked this battery, it doesn't work. Um, at the scrapyard, there is a category for batteries. Um, so these battery, batteries would go with your car batteries, they go with lawnmower batteries, they go with your household batteries. Um, so I just store them up. Um, this is a lithium one, you know, we want to make sure these and the lead-based ones get stay away from the landfill and the water system, so definitely uh, these are recyclable, so you don't want to throw these in the garbage. Um, the, there is a lot of plastic, unfortunately, on the outer shell that is going to be going to the landfill, but um, in order to open this up, there are a number of screws. I've only taken out most of them. Uh, I've left one in here, but uh, I'm going to take that out right now so I can show you the inside. And um, here we go. Loader. There it is. So the last uh, last screw. This will open up. Okay. Um, this is the blower. Unfortunately, as I said, this is plastic. Some people will sell the parts on eBay. I don't. Um, I just. You know, I will put them at the side of the road. If someone takes them, great. If not, unfortunately, it's going to the landfill. Um, in order to open this, okay, this is entirely plastic, so this is going to the garbage. So as you can see inside here, there are actually three or four silver contacts. So these little boxes, one, my finger's on the other one here. Here's another one. There are two at least that I can see, silver contacts, here is your motor, here is a nice um, aluminum heat sink that's part of a circuit board. Uh, I'm going to take it all apart right now. First thing I'm going to show you is the silver contacts. I'm going to take this out, I'm going to put my safety glasses on, and it just pops out. What I want to do is I'm going to actually take a hammer and break this plastic open. Okay, um, very simple to do. I'm going to take the rubber off first. And it's actually already coming off. So it's just a plate. Now inside, there are a couple different pieces. So all I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to pull them out, just like that. They slide out. This is plastic. So if I fold this, I'm going to show you this side, there is right there on the top a silver dot. That is a silver contact and every single one of these actually has two of them. So here's another one, where's the camera, right there, there's another one on this one. Okay, so I have two silver contacts in here and there's always a little piece of uh, copper that is connected to it. So what I do is I actually cut those off and I will put them into a silver contact bin and hopefully one day I can melt it down with some nitric acid and maybe make a silver bouillon. Okay, um, I'm also going to next, there's another one here, I'm going to pop that out. I'm not going to open it for this video because they're the same, but I'm going to take that one out and get a screwdriver. Okay, just pop out. And actually, I can take the whole apparatus out of here. Okay, so these are the guts. This, again, is also plastic. I'm going to first of all cut this wire here to get at this. Now, there's a couple things on here that I want to show you. The first thing is the wire that you see here is called low-grade wire. So in Canada, this goes for about 20 cents a pound. And the reason it's called low-grade wire is because it's got a lot more plastic on the outside than it does copper inside. Okay, so when you go to the scrapyard, 
you want to make sure you separate it from, let's say, your appliance cords. Because if you put them all together, you're going to make the lower price. So these are lower grade. Appliance wire is its own category. That goes for a dollar a pound. So make sure you separate it. Okay. There is, right on the tip, this, these prongs are where the battery connects to. These are brass. Okay, so they're coated brass, so I'm gonna peel those off. Not hard to do, I'm just gonna take a hammer and break the plastic off here. Uh, but these will go into my coated brass bucket. This circuit board is connected to a really nice, heavy aluminum heat sink. Okay, and this is glued down, so I am probably gonna have to take a um, chisel and knock off the plastic. I think it's, as I said, I think it's glued down. Um, but this, you find aluminum heat sinks in all circuit boards. This is a very, very nice, heavy piece. Look how thick that is. Okay, um, aluminum goes, clean aluminum goes for about 40 cents a pound Canadian. So there's a lot of nice aluminum there. The motor that you see here is actually cased in with cast aluminum. So that's cast aluminum. The copper bearing motor is inside. I can take this motor in, as is, and get copper bearing motor price, but I want to actually take the copper out of it. It's very easy to do. Uh, I'm going to show you right now how to do it. Um, there's a bolt on the bottom I have to first of all undo, and hopefully this will come off. But it's got to go counterclockwise. No, nope, sorry, this is clockwise, my bad. So clockwise, I'm gonna pop the plastic off here if I can hit it with a hammer. Okay, so this shell is gonna come off. I put it in a vise, it might work better. And then I'm gonna take that motor apart. Now, there's two things I want to check when I open this up, and I'll get to it in a second. So the first thing, I'm going to take this casing off. I'm going to take a punch. Plastic, unfortunately, is going in the garbage. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just undo the bolt. There's four bolts here. And they're not hard to take out. Uh, some people will use a drill. I don't use a drill. I just do it very quickly with a screwdriver. Um, but the one thing I'm going to check is before I take this apart, I want to make sure that it is copper or the, the copper bearing motor, if it's copper or aluminum. So I'm going to take a file, my file's over here, and I'm actually going to rub it. Okay, I'm going to go underneath the prong here, and I'm going to rub the copper. Now, as you can see right there, that is copper. If this copper spool was a metallic color, it means that it is aluminum. And if it was aluminum, I would not take the time to strip it because it's not worth the money or the time or energy because aluminum, dirty aluminum right now is not very um, well priced. It's gone down because of the COVID um, and everything else. But because it's copper, I want to strip it. Because it's definitely worth more as clean copper or number two copper than it is as a copper bearing motor. Copper bearing motor goes for, as I said, 10 cents a pound. Clean copper will go for um, about $1.60 a pound. And I mean, there's not a pound there, but 
it does add up nicely. Okay, so there's one. These screws are kind of glued in, so that's why they're taking a little bit of time. But I find it also just kind of therapeutic. And it's also kind of stripped in a way. So I want to make sure. Now I'm actually going to take instead, I'm going to cut them open with the grinder. Easier to speed up the process. just get those out after. As you can see, this has two parts to it. This is still cast aluminum. I'm going to throw this into my clean cast. Cast right now, unfortunately, has gone down to about, oh, uh, 20 cents a pound. There's a nice bolt right on the end here. This is uh, aluminum, clean aluminum, so this is going to go in my aluminum. And the rest of this, I'm actually going to throw in, oh, there's also a nice piece of brass that you can see right in the teeth there. So that brass, I'm gonna take it off there after I pull the bolt out, and I will put that into my clean brass. The copper motor here, very simple. I'm actually just gonna take, again, the angle grinder, and I'm just gonna actually go down the sides. And what I'll do on just one side, then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop it out on the other side, and I should get a nice spool of copper. And you do have also a circuit board, unfortunately, in here that I need to take off, but very simple to do. In order to get this copper out, I'm gonna have to cut this wire here. There we go. So again, another nice piece of uh, low-grade wire. You got a nice piece of clean cast aluminum. And I'm actually going to put this in the vise to do, because I don't want it. Anytime I have a small motor, I don't want to get my hands close to it. from the copper. The sparks are actually coming from the steel band and it just tells me that um, I've gotten all the way through which is a good sign. Okay, uh, there are a couple screws here that I unfortunately need to take out of this little circuit board. Circuit boards are not worth much uh, but they're better than going to the landfill. Any electronic has a circuit board. Okay, and in Canada, there are three degrees of circuit boards. So you want to check with your scrap here. Uh, some don't actually have this. Some actually will take all these circuit boards as one price. But some places will actually take circuit boards, low grade, high, medium grade, and high grade. Okay, I look at the circuit board, and it's based on precious metals. There isn't any copper on here. It's just a green on green board. Um, so this is just low grade board. Um, it goes into an electronic depot and they will recycle it further. Okay, so as you can see, I've just cut on one side. I'm gonna cut it or pull it out with uh, hopefully a pair of um, pliers on this side. It might be a little hard with the plastic, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Okay, 
So it's just using leverage. I'm going to pull out the spool. This side, I'm going to take it out again. This is now cut. This is going to go around the motor. I'm actually just going to take a, put it in the vise again. I'm going to take my screwdriver and I'm going to go right down the plastic. And I'm just going to slide it up. Get in there. Okay, because I've cut it on one side, it's now going to come out easier, okay? I'm not gonna do the whole thing for you, but as you can see, there is copper in here. And some people might say, well, it's really not worth it. Well, what I've done is I've actually already started a bag right here. This is just copper from Little Motors. It adds up. This bag's about seven to 10 pounds right now, as is, and I just started it. So if you think $1.60 a pound, you're gonna get a lot better value for your copper that took me 10 extra seconds than if I was to bring this copper motor in and get 10 cents a pound. This is about two pounds, so it's maybe 20 cents worth of copper bearing motor. Okay, so all in all, great piece of appliance, very easy to take apart. I've got my lithium battery that's going to be recycled properly at the scrapyard. I've got number two copper from my copper bearing motor. I have a bunch of low grade uh, copper wire. I have two silver contact connector pieces that have silver. I've got a really nice aluminum heat sink. And there's also a small little copper bearing motor right on the knob here too. This one I will just throw into my copper bearing motor because it's so small. And this took me about 15 minutes to take apart. So all in all, a great find. Another electronic diverted from the landfill. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video. Tin Man out.